Hey guys, my name is Max. I'm the CEO of Blossom and I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys a walkthrough of Blossom Pro, something we've been working on really hard over the last couple months and we're finally ready to launch um, to you guys. So make sure if you haven't already, update your app on the App Store. You'll know that you've updated it when you see that little pro um, orange button in the top right. So without further ado, this video is going to focus on a walkthrough of Pro as well as how it fits in with the overall app. So let's open it up and jump right into it. So Blossom Pro is really focused on a deeper portfolio analytics and deeper portfolio analysis um, for you guys in that portfolio tab of the app. Some apps we took inspiration from were like Stock Events, uh, Wealthica, some of these other like portfolio manager tools. We really wanted to bring that functionality into Blossom and tailor it, uh, especially with the Stock Events, to the Canadian um, audience and to our community, our Blossom community, and what, what you guys have given us as feedback um, for this feature and for this uh, sort of whole ecosystem of features. So walking through some of them, and I'll go through them um, in the tour. Actually, maybe I'll save it for the tour, but sector breakdowns, performance index, dividend contribution, asset allocation, lots and lots of jam-packed stuff. You'll also be able to, if you're on Pro, see um, these widgets for other people who are on Pro. Of course, there's still the private view and the public view, so you won't be able to see any everything. But for instance, the dividend contributors, you can see if you go on Brandon, uh, Brandon or Adrian or some of our other ambassadors, if you're on Pro, you'll be able to see their um, dividend contributors as well as your own. But another thing that I want to call out is everything on the app that's currently free is remaining free. And in fact, moving forward, after we launch this, we'll be back at it, releasing lots more free features uh, for all of the social functionality that we've been waiting on. As well, um, I know that Gonzalo has already started mocking up some designs for dark mode. Uh, we're planning to slot it in uh, in Q2 um, in the next couple months. Uh, we just need to finalize some of those designs, but that is coming and we are listening to all of your guys' awesome feedback. And I really appreciate whenever all of you message me on intercom. Um, but the final point with that is Blossom Pro isn't how you know we're planning as a company to sustain ourselves. Our goal is to become Canada's first social brokerage. And that is the big opportunity that we're chasing with Blossom. Competing with Wealthsimple and competing with the Quest Trades of the world, we see a big opportunity to combine the power of the social and the community with building an awesome brokerage product. Uh, so that said, that is obviously a very expensive goal as we're trying to become a uh, regulated brokerage. Uh, there's a lot of steps to that. And so Blossom Pro is almost more of a way to support the Blossom team, almost like a, a Patreon. You know, there's a ton of features and it's as a product, a great standalone product and I think a great value. But it's also an awesome way to show if you're enjoying the app, you're enjoying the community and you want to show us some love and help us keep the lights on. Uh, and especially this awesome light on that we just got um, <laughs> that Brandon ordered for some of the, the ambassador sets. Uh, definitely make sure you subscribe to Pro because it's a great way to support um, the team. So with that, let's check it out. So once you try it, there's a seven day free trial for all of you, sort of classic trial mechanism. Uh, day five, you get a reminder. Make sure um, to cancel if you want to, although none of you guys are going to want to cancel after you see it. Um, and then after that, your, your subscription officially starts. We have two options, the monthly plan and the annual plan. Of course, the annual plan we structured as a much better deal. The reason for that, honestly, actually just as a startup is like cash flow is very important. So we're able to give a much big, bigger, a bigger deal if you are able to commit for a longer time as it helps us, um, you know, as I said before, keep the lights on. So uh, excited to see which you guys choose. I'm going to click on the annual plan here and select that. If you're on Apple, the um, Apple Pay is going to show up. If you're on Google, uh, Google Pay is going to show up. I'm just on the trial right now. So um, normally you can do this with your face ID, but this is going to um, let me let me uh, pause this while I try and remember my password. Okay, I got it. And, and we're in. So I'm now subscribed to Pro. So I'm going to walk through um, some of the functionality for my own um, portfolio here so you guys can really get a taste of all of the features. This normally won't take so long. Uh, since it's in a sandbox environment, I think it takes a little longer. 
So right off the gate, the only thing that the one cool thing with pro is you get the little green circle around your name with the little lightning bolt just to show that you've supported the app. Uh, and that's going to show up as well in your posts in the feed. Um, so you can see all everyone else who's on pro and you can see my portfolio. I'm down a bit today. I guess I think everyone's having a bit of a red day. Um, and I'm going to leave it on, you know, the private view for you guys. Obviously, if you look at my portfolio right now, you can't see that. Um, you can only see the public view, but the private view, I think is important to show the full functionality of pro. So let me walk through it. So there's some widgets related to more growth focused investors, and there's a bunch of widgets as well for the dividend folks. And I think both are really cool. So here I can see my performance over the last month. I'm down 1.11%. I've really wanted this feature to see how am I doing over the week? How am I doing over the month? How am I doing over the year? And I can compare it. So I'm like, wow, I'm having a great week up to 0.3%. How's that compared to the S&P 500? I'm actually tracking the S&P very, very closely, which is interesting. I mean, my biggest holding is VFV, so maybe not super surprising, but maybe let's look at the month. Um, wow, I've actually tracked it identically. So uh, that's very interesting uh, for my my uh, profile. And I think due to the big weighting of, e, uh, of, uh, of VFV, and you can compare it to the Dow, NASDAQ. And we're also going to add this in so you can compare it to other people on the app as well. So you can compare with your friends. Um, you can compare with Brandon, see uh, who's who's doing the best. And you can also share this as well um, to the feed. So all of these widgets are going to be shareable within the feed. And also, by the way, on the stock charts, and this is on all the stock charts, not just on this widget, but we added this nice uh, uh, drag and, and drop. You can see how, uh, you know, I've, that's been missing as well. So also on the stock charts. Sector analysis. This is really, really cool. You can see where, where you're weighted to cyclical, defensive. Make sure you click into this one because this, to me, is the most interesting view. I have 31% of my portfolio in technology and compare that to Blossom, which has 13% in technology. Very interesting to see how you're stacking up against the community. If you look, Blossom, 35% uh, of you guys are the portfolio, aggregate portfolio of the whole Blossom community is in financials, you know, the big banks. I personally don't have a lot in the big banks. Maybe I should, and I know I should. Um, and that's a really great insight for me um, here of maybe I should pick up some financial stocks and you can see cyclical, defensive. Some of you might not know what that means. That's okay. I didn't actually, uh, but apparently it's a you know, very common categorization. But if you click on this question mark, you can see what those different definitions are. And we'll also be adding features so you can see which of your stocks are being categorized as what um, on the stock pages. So that will be coming soon as well. Portfolio allocation. This one's a simple one stocks versus ETFs. You can see I'm more heavily weighted um, towards the stocks uh, and only 26% in the ETFs, which is my, my BFV ETF there. Let's jump into this dividend section, which is really, really cool section. I know a lot of you folks love your dividends. Right off the gate, you have your dividend goal that you can set. I have mine set for $500 annually. Maybe that's a little unrealistic. Let me change it to 100. I think a more uh, a more realistic goal given my current portfolio. And you can see how you're stacking up to that goal as you're acquiring more uh, more assets, as you're making sure you're saving more, investing more, as well as changing your portfolio allocation, maybe to maximize uh, your yield. That's going to show up in this dividend goal and you can track your progress towards that. You can also see your monthly dividend and your dividend history. So I can see that I had a, a, a more dividends in April um, probably due to the quarterly dividends. Uh, and what's really interesting, this is one of my favorite widgets, is if you look into the dividend contributors, you can see I'm making $55 um, a year in dividends, which is nothing compared to I know what a lot, a lot of you guys, um, but I can see exactly what's contributing to that. So VFV is 40, 47%, and I can look in, and that's given me a 1.3% um, yield. So that's where that's coming in for me. Microsoft also, I found this interesting. I didn't know actually some of my stocks were paying me a dividend until I looked at this contributor widget. And you can see as well the payout breakdown by each of those, uh, each of those holdings. Dividend allocation, how, what's, your, what's your proportion of dividends, non-dividends, you can see in there. 
So that's all the functionality that you get on your profile. And I don't think I can show it to you guys um, because I don't think it's set up in my test environment right now. But also anyone else on Pro, let's take Brandon for example, I can go to Brandon's profile and also see these widgets. I'm gonna have fewer widgets. So for instance, dividend contributors, you're not gonna be able to see his exact dollar amount, but you can see what the yield is overall on his portfolio, as well as his dividend allocation, you know, how he's faring compared to the S&P, um, as well as the sector analysis and portfolio allocation. So that'll be cool in that all of the pro users uh, will have, you know, better insights too, uh, and can dive a little deeper in an analyzing other portfolios and exploring the other portfolios, as well as, as I mentioned before, you can share all these widgets um, to your feed, uh, which I think will be really cool and help, uh, you know, really jumpstart some great discussion around sector allocation, dividend allocation, um, and, and all of those topics. So that is a high level of pro. I think we've been really hard at work. I'm really excited to hear your guys' feedback on it. Uh, we'll be keeping on making this better and better and better, um, as well as, you know, keeping on making the app better and better. I just want to end off this call by saying thank you so much to everyone um, in the community, both those who've been there since the very first day um, and those who are just joining now. We just hit, I believe, 19,000 users, so really close to 20,000. Um, and thank you all so much for all of the amazing um, ratings as well in the App Store. That helps us out a lot. Um, and really, uh, you know, just so thrilled, um, you know, myself to be able to work every day uh, to build this product for you guys. As many of you know, uh, it's, it's not easy work uh, and it's a lot of late nights, but it's so worth it, uh, you know, seeing the impact that it's having on, on everyone here in the community. And so just want to thank you so much and really excited to meet many of you guys. We're going to be announcing soon, but we're doing a Canada-wide uh, meetup events for the community in Vancouver coming end of May. And then also Toronto, Montreal, and Calgary um, here in either June or July. Um, and so it's, it's, I'm so excited for that and, and to see all of your friendly faces out in person. Um, anyway, this video is maybe going a little long. So thanks if you stuck with me to the end. Uh, appreciate it. And thank you all and have a great rest of your month. Cheers.